Merci beaucoup et bonne journée. Hello, sir. Welcome to the United Kingdoms. That's right. We've made it safely. 13 hours later. Was it 13 hours? Nine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. nine hours later. <laughs> I slept and watched Yes Man. I had three seats all to myself. It just like sprawled out. It was amazing. It's a moment of truth. Did the airline lose luggage? Yes. So when you go through a airport, you have to like go through a screening agent who basically makes sure that you're not going to be an illegal immigrant or someone who's working here in the country, taking other people's jobs. And I've never been confronted, so I've never been prepared. And I get there, he's like, okay, so do you have a return ticket? No, I don't. Do you have a ticket going to your next destination? I'm like, it's on my phone, I can't show you, the internet's not working. And then he even asked me, how much money do you have on you? And I'm, I've never been asked these questions really. And so I was like, oh, I've got no money, I just have credit cards. I've watched enough Border Patrol, I'm like, I know what's happening, I'm like, shh. Um, he was pretty chill, but I'm gonna be more prepared next time. So we're out of the airport, and in typical UK fashion, it's an overcast, kind of rainy day. Right now, we're gonna find the metro, we're heading into London. It's about a 30 minute tram ride to get there, and we're gonna try to find uh, a friend of ours workplace so that we can ditch these bags. <laughs> All right, love, we just got 20 pounds times three. I've never seen this before. This is Alex, your EasyJet captain speaking. So the whole train system is very confusing and we don't even know where we're going. So we just got on one that's bringing us to Central, which is Victoria in London. And the train was like $15 for an all day pass. Well, 15 pounds, which is like $30. Next stop is London. Gatwick was like all the way out in the countryside, so taking the train was actually a really cool way to see, you know, the neighborhoods just kind of like the life behind the big city. I'm starting to get hit with jet lag, crashing a little bit, but we'll get some tea, maybe, some English tea, and we'll pick ourselves back up. So I got the American size, Matt got the European size. <laughs> we made it. I packed everything, I think, except for a lightning cable for my iPhone. And of course my battery started to die, so I was like, okay, I need to go buy one. This lightning cable here cost me about 30 Canadian dollars, 25 US dollars. Not stoked about that, but I guess that's what I get for forgetting my cable. The UK is a very, very expensive place. Luckily Brexit dropped the currency a little bit, but otherwise still very expensive. Finally made it outside. <laughs> Literally the biggest canal system. Like more impressive than the pyramids. Here we are. This is amazing. This is like stereotypical UK. Here we are. This here is Piccadilly Circus. Right now we're actually going to meet with a really good friend of mine. We went to elementary school, high school together, and she came out to London to do modeling. <laughs> This is so cool, I can actually feel the history. You see all the old buildings, all the really cool architecture, and we actually know where we're going right now, so things are great, things are looking up. If you couldn't tell, I've never been to the UK before, I've been to France, and so I've seen something similar to this, and actually, if you go to the very east coast of Canada, Quebec City, um, there's really, really old architecture, just like there was in France, because it was built by the early settlers coming from France. So, we do have some of this in Canada, but a very, very small part. The Zergi. Lauren and I go back, way back. Way, way, way back. What brings you to London? Uh, I live here. Okay, um, why do you live here? I came for work years ago and ended up loving it and I've stayed ever since. She used to model. Still model. 
Charles. Larson, Larson and Jennings. Jennings. Larson and Jennings. She's trying to sell me a watch. Buy the watch. <laughs> back to work. Right now we are walking to Buckingham Palace. I think we're like, I don't know, five minutes away. A whole lot of nice cars coming through here, Bentleys, Ferraris. It's a very affluent area and it's extremely beautiful. We're just about done our little London tourist walk. We say goodbye to Lauren. I'm sure she'll be back to Vancouver in a couple of years or so, so I'll see her then. But right now we are going to meet with another friend. So Stein is the third partner who we're gonna be doing Romania with, and Stein is good buddies with a guy by the name of Noam. That's who we're meeting right now. Noam's gonna show us around a little bit. We hope to go see Big Ben, and that will probably be the end of our day. Grab a couple of beers and get up super early to go to Romania tomorrow morning. It's real number one. We just got off the metro and it was so hot in there. We have met up with Gnome. We're gonna grab a couple of beers. How are you doing? I don't want the fame, man. <laughs> I got the money, I don't want the fame. <laughs> right here is actually a Banksy graffiti piece, but as you can see, it's protected behind this sheet of plastic. Yep, plastic. Um, I guess some hooligans came and tried to smash it up, but that's what remains of Banksy's artwork. So Noam is kindly hosting us for the night. We are currently in East London. Um, we're heading back into London to go see Big Ben. We were out that way earlier, but we had all of our massive bags on and my back was killing me. I'm also switching back to the G7X. I don't know how you guys found me vlogging with the GH4 today. Let me know, do you guys prefer it? It's definitely an extra step. It's a challenge to always have this massive camera hanging around, especially when I have a backpack on my front and a backpack on my back. So there's gonna be certain points in my trip where it just doesn't make sense and I'll be vlogging with the G7X, but I don't think any of you guys had an issue with that to start with. So let me know, do you guys have a preference and how do you like the new mic? All right, we're getting some Turkish food. Turkish food, let's get going. We didn't even come close. We had two Tupperwares left over, but there's breakfast. Guys, what's up? How you doing down there? Meet my friend, this is Ben. It's quite big. I'll stop, I promise I won't do that again. There it is, that's the prime angle. You get the double clock. Reorientation, London Eye, Big Ben. There's a thing over there that looks like Lord Farquaad's castle from Shrek. It's uh, Minister Abbey, which is a big church here. And we're going to Trafalgar Square, which is somewhere down here. You don't have to come to London anymore. Just watch my vlog. Guys, this is the gate into 10 Downing Street. So the Prime Minister lives down there somewhere. I don't think they'll tell me where, but down there. Look at that gate. Cars come through here. They come across here, come across this nice ass lamppost. They got a roundabout with some statues, double-decker buses, and right over there, is that Trafalgar Square? That's Trafalgar Square. Ah, yes. God bless the colony. Gotta grab a quick pint here. What kind of like British pale ales do you have? A pint in the middle of London. You guys are looking for a cool bar? We came to the Admiralty. It's right across from Trafalgar Square. Really cool bar. And now we're gonna head back to Nome. We got an early morning. I gotta edit a vlog somehow in between all of this. Like I'm running on very little sleep, but for you guys, I'm gonna make it work. There's a lion right there, and it looks like two people are having sex on top of the other lion, but we're gonna leave that out of the vlog. Oh, are you good? Harry Potter. <laughs> Really busy day here in London. It's been a great day, but tomorrow I have an early morning. So have a good night. Let's get lost again tomorrow.
Laura and I have an exciting announcement as to how you guys can be the first to get your hands on some merch, some lost merch. We wanted to let you guys know that we are now on a platform by the name of Patreon. 